Hello everyone, um, I was asked by one of my subscribers to show how to make your own private network on from your computer because he was curious, you know, a lot of people don't want to spend, you know, 7, 15, 20, 30, 60 bucks on a server when you can, you know, come and make your own server off your computer as long as you run it fine enough. There's going to be three things that you need and the first one is going to be Hamachi Unmanaged. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google and you're going to want to type in Hamachi Unmanaged into the, into the search bar and it's going to be the very first thing that pops up. You're going to want to go to the website and you're going to want to go and click yes, agree to the terms of condition or conditions of use. You know, it's on everything, every single thing. No one reads it unless, you know, you're like suspicious, but you can go ahead and read it. It's like barely this little thing. It's like you can't sell it to other people. But you want to get the unmanaged version, you're going to click download now. And his Google Chrome, it's going to start downloading down here. Um, and while that's downloading, you want to go and start doing something else. So to get the other two things that you need for the to run your own server on your computer, you want, you're going to want to go here to Minecraft.net. Uh, and down here in about the middle right side of the screen, um, you want to go to play Minecraft, you're going to go to download. Um, down here you're going to see you know, a few things, you're going to want to go to Minecraft Multiplayer Server, that's the one you're going to want to pay attention to. Um, and there's two things you need to download on here. The first thing is you want to go and download Minecraft Server uh, .ext, or .exe execution file and you want to also download Minecraft Server Jar. You're going to need both of these. It's going to say this file can harm your computer, but that's because it's a jar file and a lot of of uh, programs think that jar file a lot of jar files code viruses, but this is minecraft.net. It's safe. It's where you it's the file that you need to run your server. So you're going to want to open that up or you're going to want to say keep and it's going to download it. So now you have all three things downloaded. Um what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to make a new folder. So you're going to go over here and you know you're going to right click your screen, make a new folder and we'll just name it new server. All right, we have your new so new server folder. You want to open that up. Right now it has nothing in it. You want to bring this you want to bring back up your 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 Google Chrome if that's what you're using at the moment. And you're going to want to grab the Minecraft server file, drop it in here, and you want to grab the Minecraft jar file file and drop it in here. All right. You're going to want to expand this open and launch Hamachi because you need the the run Hamachi and you obviously, you know, you pick whatever preferred language you need. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, if you rewatch it, you know, try and figure out what I'm trying to say. I'll slow down now. You're going to want to choose English. And you're going to go next. You're going to agree to the terms and condition of use. And, you know, it's going to have some, you know, to keep blah, blah, blah. Keep the, if, if you're on Windows 7, just keep the current color scheme. But ask me again if the computer's can yeah, just keep the your current color scheme if your computer is fine and you're able to handle it. Um you're gonna you can create a desk a shortcut on the on the a shortcut on the desktop, I'll do that. And then you're gonna want to click install. Now while that's going through installing, it takes a couple minutes for that to install, you're gonna wanna go to um uh, okay, well it's gonna ask me to install, I'm gonna say yes, you know. Sometimes it takes a few moments to install, but while that's doing that, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to launch your Minecraft server file that you put into your new server. You're gonna click Run. A program is gonna open in a little bit, and it's gonna start running. Um, and you know, let's check on the Hamachi. Yeah, let's see, Hamachi is installing your network driver. That takes a few minutes because, you know, it, I don't. I, it just takes a, a small amount of time. Why is this not opening? Uh, run. Oh, well, there it goes. It's popping up now. Well, we're going to want to close one of these. You got too many open. So, when your Minecraft server file opens, it's going to it's going to open once you've opened it one time. You don't need to open this server file ever again. You never need to open it again. Now, as you can see, all of these uh, files have now been created inside this server. That's good. Uh, that's what it was supposed to do. Now, if we just grab Hamachi, which is some reason went over into this corner, um, you're going to go to here and you're going to want to launch Hamachi now. This is when you're going to need 
what you need for homogeneity. Now, this is the screen you're gonna that's gonna pop up when it first comes. Uh, all you're gonna want to do is click the power button. You know, name you, you whatever you want to be named, and you just click create. And it starts it starts probing, or so it says. It's it's it creates an IP for you to use for your server. This is why log me in Hamachi is is very useful. Now, if you want other people to join your server, they also have to download log me in Hamachi and launch their own. They do not have to get the server. They do not have to download Minecraft Server One or, or the jar file, or the execution file. They do not need to do that. They just need Hamachi. And when they and they need to start Hamachi, and then what you need to do is you now need to create a new network for someone to join. So um, you want someone to join. So you're gonna you want to name your network. Let's go new server example new new server here. Let's name it new server here. You can create a password. I'll just make my password hello. You know. Hello. You make can make it. This make sure you 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 spelled the password right and you want everything done right. So now you have new server here. Currently, I'm the only person who's in the server. That's why it doesn't show anyone. So if you want your friends to join, or you want this is specifically if you want your friends to join. This is a private server. This is not a server for anyone to join. Um, I'm just gonna ignore that. It's it's gonna keep popping up because I. Yeah, well, anyways, if you want your your friends to join this is where they need to come in when you want your friends to join you've now created your network you want them to go to join an existing network you want them to type in your network name like new server well, let me spell that right new server here and then they're gonna enter your password and you're gonna be like hello and then you click join and then what should happen is you should see them pop up under new server here and then um, they will have successfully joined your network now the last thing you need to do is you need to go to your, your mind you need to go to your server file you can just you can minimize this you don't need that up for right now um, you go back to your folder you go to your server you right click it and you want to say Usually there's something like view. You want to view or you want to open it. You're going to double click it and it's probably going to ask you what you want to open it with. Um, you want to open it with notepad. It just, it's just a simple thing to do. And see right now is if you go to server IP, your server has no IP. If your server has no IP, how is anyone going to join it? Well, you want to bring Hamachi back up. And you want to give, give Hamachi your IP that was given to you right here. So you want to enter that in. It's going to be like it's going to be two five. Well, for me, for me downloading it right now, it's going to be two five two three two point one six five point two zero three. I'm also going to want to copy that because when the server launches, I want to be able to just paste the ID into it, and then you're going to click, and then you're going to exit out, and you're going to save. Now after that, you want to launch the minecraft jar file executable jar file you launch that and while that's launching it will have the same screen as it did before it's generating the world for the first time all the files have been generated it's got to generate your new world it's got to generate your server the spawn area obviously as it says before now while that's doing that i'm going to open up my minecraft and show you that it has worked properly uh, so let me log into my Minecraft. It looks like this has finished the spawn area. The spawn area is done. So I'm going to enlarge my Minecraft to full screen. I'm going to go to multiplayer. You're going to want to add a server. So Minecraft new server. You're going to want to paste. Contr you want to control V. Control V will paste the server address into Minecraft. It's the same one that you put into your Hamachi, and this is the, and it's the same one that your friends are going to use. Your friends are going to use the IP that you were given, not the one that they were given. Now I want to hide my. If you could hide, if you're recording or you're doing something, you could hide your address so people don't see your IP and like try and DDoS your server uh, if you ever record on it. And then you want to click done. 
as you could see my server is working it's, I got full bar connection to it you want to join and once I go in I'll have my my spawn area and all that it might take a little bit you know the world is the first time joining the world I have a, like a gray screen right here so I gotta wait for the world to fully generate alright so we generated we ended up in a jungle and the server worked correctly that's good now if your friends have uh, some issues joining the server like it says they they're getting timed out or or something of that nature the number one thing that usually happens I'm closing the server the number one thing that usually happens we don't need the server anymore so I'm gonna close it down um, but what it usually happens is that for some reason uh, you you made the you made your connection to log me and Hamachi private which means no one can connect to it I know it's a private network but you can make your connection private so someone else cannot join your computer connection what you're gonna wanna do with that is you're gonna wanna open up your wireless connection you're gonna wanna go to open network and sharing and after that you could see I have Hamachi as one of my my access, access points you're gonna wanna go to you're gonna to want to go to here and change it to be a home network or no or a public network so that anyone can come that knows the password to your server or knows your Hamashi password can come and join this is why you keep it private you only give it out to your friends because you don't want random people joining your server and griefing you this is the easiest way to make a private server that doesn't cost any money you don't have to go and get your own dedicated server and it's free that's the greatest thing about it it's free so if you guys have any questions and on if if you are curious or something that didn't work for you um, you know leave a comment and I'll get to your answers as soon as possible you know I hope you appreciated this videos and I'll see you guys later